What's wrong with the online sales tax proposals in Congress? Let's ask eBay CEO John Donahoe. He joins us now here on The Big Interview. Nice Thanks to be here, Simon. So you're not opposed to online sales tax, but part of the provisions. Explain why and what. Sure. Well, again, we think online sales tax should occur, mm. but we're looking out for the interest of small business, and in particular, many of the small businesses that sell on eBay. And in simplest terms, we're looking to have them have the same protections online that a small business has offline. Small businesses offline have to collect sales tax from the consumers that they sell inside the state in which they reside. But they don't have to collect sales tax for a cross-state transaction. We'd like the same thing to apply in the online world. And our specific concern is not their capacity to collect sales tax or even to file with the 50 different states. It's the fact that the state taxing authorities will have the power to audit and go after anyone who they think has violated the laws. And we think that'll be an unnecessary burden and a burden that will harm small businesses. So what, what level should it, should it be? I mean, we, because we, cl clearly we, we want sales tax. I mean, whenever I buy something on, um, on, online here in New York, it seems that I get some tax on that. I mean, maybe it's not all the time, but it, I certainly am paying that. And if it was a New York seller yeah. online, you should. But we think the, the definition we're using, what the Treasury says, $10 million. Mm. And so that, that is a $10 million exclusion. It's a million dollars today. We think it should be $10 million. Mm. So that would be, would be $10 million. Why, why so high? I mean, if, if we, we are short for money across the states, a lot of the states are very cash scra strapped right now. What's wrong with having a, a relatively low one? A million bucks is a reasonable amount of money, right? Well, it's actually, if you're a small business, it's not that big. And so we think $10 million or 50 employees. And our experience is once you get up to 50 employees in a company, you have a finance department, you may have a tax department, you can deal with the risk of being audited in the other 49 states. And so we've just tried to pick, and 50 employees is how the, 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 the healthcare bill defines small business. So when we look at our, when we look at our sellers, it's what size uh, what size can they afford to have a finance department, a tax department? What, and the amount of revenue is tiny. What, what would, sorry, would a national sales tax solve this problem? Because it's partly the paperwork problems, isn't it? Correct. It's not the actual tax, taking the tax in and giving that. Would a national sales tax solve it would help. We've been talking about a streamlined sales tax for the last eight years. Okay. And a streamlined sales tax would help. But the specific thing in this bill is the power of state taxing authorities. Let me ask a question. Have you ever had to file your own tax return in more than one state? Yes, I have. Have you ever I gotten a, a letter? Help. Have you ever had a letter from some state you filed it in that you don't live in? Three years later, you get a letter that says you paid forty-eight dollars in tax and it was supposed to be fifty-two dollars, and you have twenty-eight dollars in penalties. You ever gotten a letter like that? Luckily, I haven't, but I hope, and I hope never to. But yes. that's what you're. That's, that's what you're the talking. kind of thing that we're trying to help small businesses avoid. We interviewed on Digits uh, one of your lieutenants about eBay's move from being solely online to getting into stores of retail partners. How do you? stick with the, the idea that eBay is an innovative tech company while going back to bricks and mortar? Well, we're a technology company. Mm. Our move to bricks and mortar, we're, we will never own physical assets, mm. bricks and mortar assets. And what's happening is consumers, the mobile device has completely blurred the line between online and offline for consumers. And so consumers increasingly are accessing the web when they're at home on their laptop or when they're on their, on their smartphone or in their mobile device at home, on the streets, at work, and in stores. And so we have to follow the consumers. And we're a technology company that's helping retailers, we're partnering with retailers to help them meet that consumer need. So who is your competition then? Who are you out there in the market? Are you competing with Amazon? Are you competing with companies that don't have you as a partner? Well, we're, no, what we're saying is to any retailer, we're saying we want to partner with retailers of all sizes, small businesses, large and medium, and we will partner with them to help compete in this omni-channel, blurring lines world, and we will never compete with them. So we're a technology partner, not a retailer. We're not a competitor. 
So you're that. not a competitor to your bricks and mortar. Are you a competitor to Amazon? They well, have payment sure. services? Sure, people can buy on eBay or they can buy on Amazon or they can buy on one of our retail partners. So, so eBay is one of the, the first companies to really get a sustainable business model in the, in the tech world, in the online world. Uh, it's been around a while, everyone knows it, and there are some people who've never used it. How do you innovate to get those people inside the tent as it were. Yeah, well, first thing we do is we make it a better user experience. And we've put a lot of focus on that in the last five years mm -hmm. and it is a significantly improved, more engaging experience today than it was. And that's showing up in our numbers. So our new user growth has been accelerating growth rates for the last six quarters. And then the other way you do it is, is you make it easier to sign up. So we're having three to four million new users a quarter just on mobile devices. They're signing up on a mobile device and it takes just a couple of minutes. So as we make sign up easier and we have an engaging experience, more and more new users are coming to eBay. Now one of the things that I see on eBay a lot is uh, you know, buy now. Instead of waiting for the auction to play out, you can click and, and buy now. And a Amazon also has competing sellers where you can buy now, they don't have the auction. Are they, again, are they a, a major competitor of yours? And what do you think they're doing better? And what do you think you're doing better? Well, it's just a different choice. Amazon, you're going to a retailer. Amazon, you're going to a retailer. eBay, you're coming to a marketplace and you're buying directly from the small businesses. And so, you know, there's room for both is the reality. And because more and more consumers are buying online on their mobile devices, and what we're trying to do is provide the widest selection, eBay has the widest selection of both our own inventory as well as our inventory of small sellers as well as inventory of large sellers. And we have a global marketplace and engaging experience. And, you know, where uh, the results speak for themselves. Don, shift. Thank you, thank you very much, John Donahoe of eBay. I'm Simon Constable, and that was The Big Interview.